Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about how to configure syslog through a lab demo. So the lab topology is really simple. I've just got my router R1 with IP address 10.0.0.1, and I've got my syslog server at 10.0.0.100. That's marked as the NMS system in the diagram. It's the network monitoring system. Okay, so right now, I'm going to tell you about that terminal monitor command, the last thing that we covered in the last lecture. So if you have a look at my PC here, I'm actually on 10.0.0.100 now, and I've got a continuous ping that is pinging the R1 router. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a putty telnet session to the router. So I'm opening up putty and I'm going to telnet to 10.0.0.1 and I'm going to log in here with my password and enable and put the password in there as well. And while I'm here, I want to have a console session open in the background. So this big window here, I'm connected over a console session and this smaller window is the telnet session that I just opened. So I want to see you to see how the logging is going to be different here. So in my telnet session, I'm going to debug IP ICMP. And what this is going to do, it's going to debug those pings that are coming in. I should see output every time that a ping is received and output every time that I reply as well. And because it's a debug, it's going to be updating continuously in real time. But the thing is that I haven't entered the terminal monitor command yet, so it's not going to show up in my telnet session. So when I hit enter here, you'll see that logging is enabled on the console by default. So in the big window in the background, the console, I can see the debugging output showing up in there. But in my telnet window, because logging is not enabled by default in telnet, I don't see anything. And this can be really confusing when you first start working with debugs because you'll enter a debug command and you'll get no output and you'll think, oh, I'm, I'm not receiving any pings. It's going to be something like that. But actually, it's just that you haven't turned on the logging output. So the way that you do that is in your telnet window or your SSH window, the command at the enable prompt is terminal monitor. So I'll do that. And now I should see, there you go, the debugs start coming in. Okay, so whenever you're debugging, in a telnet or ssh session remember to put in the terminal monitor command so you can actually see the output okay the way to stop the debugging if you want to turn off all debugging then you can type in undebug all or the short way is just you all and that will turn off all debugging you might see a little bit of output come in after that just as it's finishing up that is the debugging turned off Okay, so that was the terminal monitor command. The other thing that I told you about at the end was logging synchronous. So let's go into our console window here and I'll go config T and what I'll do is currently interface fast 3 slash 0 is shut down. So I will do a no shut and then as soon as I enter that command, I'm going to start entering a new command. So I'll do do show IP interface. Okay, you see what happened there? So in the middle of me typing a command, I'm seeing some logging output there. And it makes it really hard to see exactly where I am in that command. It's confusing. So I'm like, oh, where was I in that command? And usually what you'll end up doing is you'll just end up hitting the backspace to clear it and hit enter and then start the command again. And it's a little bit annoying. 
So what you can do to prevent that behavior is go to your console line. So I'll go line console zero and enter logging synchronous there. And I also want to do it for when I'm connected in over SSH or Telnet. So I'll go line VTY 015 and hit the up arrow to enter and logging synchronous there as well. So now what happens, I'll do the same thing. So I will do a shut this time and then start. Uh, I need to go to the interface. So interface fast three slash zero. I'll do a shutdown and then start typing do show IP interface. So you see what happened now? It doesn't put the logging output right in the middle of my line, making it hard to see where I am. It still shows the logging output, but once it's done that, it prints where I was at again in a new line so I can see exactly where I was. So a couple of things you always want to do there. So that was always enable logging synchronous on your console and your VTY lines. And also when you're debugging over a Telnet or SSH session, remember to put in the command terminal monitor. Okay, so that was those first two commands. I think this video has been going a little while already. So let's wrap this one up here and I'll cover doing the syslog configuration in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.